Hey everybody and welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. You're watching Laravel 5.5 new features. Now there's 14 total episodes in this series and we're currently on episode number 10. This, this episode, we're gonna be talking about a couple new improvements that have come to the router. So managing routes is a little bit easier, actually quite a bit easier, thanks to two simple commands. Let me show you guys how it works. So with this, I've basically created a, a basic setup here where um, we create a redirect. So I'm creating a URL called slash hello, as you can see up here. And when we hit this slash hello, we actually just wanna redirect to another page called slash goodbye. So you can see here, when we do that, we go to slash goodbye, which simply returns a view and that's it. So if we come look at this here in the project, you can see we've got our routes. We've got the basic home route as you're used to. We've created another get route called slash hello. When slash hello happens, we go to page controller at hello. And then we have another route for our goodbye, which goes to page controller at goodbye. And that's it, that's kind of how we created this. Now remember that this one, this slash hello is simply a redirect. So at, over here in page controller, when we hit this function, all we do is return a redirect, go to the goodbye route and that's it. So um, that's all we're doing there. Now next we've got our goodbye function and this goodbye function is simply returns a view. So we got some ba very basic logic and this is something you're used to doing, um, especially when you, all you're returning is just HTML, you want an HTML landing page or some sort of endpoint. A lot of times you're just returning views, you're not actually doing any logic, and then doing redirects is also another common thing you're doing. But to, to make these two things happen is a little bit convoluted of a, of a way. You have to all these kind of unnecessary controllers. And thanks to two of these route methods that we have now, a lot of these can go away. So let me show you guys how it works. So first of all, let me show you how a redirect works. So we can actually now create redirects directly in our routes file, which is awesome because this used to be you know, you used to have to create a controller that went there and then redirected from the controller back over to the route file and so forth. And now we can do it right in line in the um, in the route. And then the other thing that's nice about it is you automatically know that this is a redirect when you're reading the routes file. So it just makes it a lot easier in so many different ways. So to do a redirect, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go route. Instead of get, we'll do redirect. And then we'll pass in the first parameter is the URL that we wanna hit. This is the URL we wanna register. And then the second parameter, instead of being a controller, is simply the URL that we want to redirect to. And that's it, that's all it takes to do a redirect. Now as a third parameter, optionally, you can also pass in a 301 or a 302, depending on the redirect type that you want. A 301 redirect is a permanent redirect. A 302 redirect is a temporary temporary redirect. Normally 301 is better for SEO. That's the more common one that you would wanna do. But if you had, I don't know, some sort of temporary redirect for some reason, you could do 302 here. So that's the third parameter you can pass in. And so right here in one line, we can see this is a redirect. And this is nice when you're looking through your routes, you can just see that it's a redirect right in the routes file. You don't have to wonder, like, although instead of it being a get and then going to a controller and then you have to go to the controller to see that all it's doing is redirecting. I love just seeing that like, okay, right here I can see the hello route is simply a redirect route and it's going to the goodbye route. I can see that right inside the route file. Plus it means that in my page controller, I can actually just delete this. I don't need this function. So um, that method, so that's super nice. So having these redirects is, is gonna be really, really nice because you need redirects with almost every application. You have several of them. This is gonna be great. Okay, next we've got, um, I wanna show you guys how we work with these functions like this one, where all we're doing is returning a view. And you guys know how this works. I generally create this controller called a page controller. And the page controller is just all of my methods that don't really belong to a resource. They just, they just generically, usually like return views, that's all they do. And I will often have a page controller, which is just a bunch of static HTML pages basically. And there's a whole bunch of functions in here and each of them will be the contact about, you know, jobs, just whatever, I don't know, basic pages that are just static HTML. All they do is return a view, that's all it is. And I have a controller that that's all it does. And now I can get rid of that because we can actually get rid of this function here basically getting rid of the whole purpose of the page controller. So now that we don't have the function here, how do we tell it to redirect to the view? Well, now we can just pass in route view, and then we have our URL slash goodbye, but then instead of telling it to go to a controller, 
we just give it the name of the view that we want to load. So in this case, the goodbye view. If I go to resources views, you can see we have a goodbye.blade.php view. That's the one that you saw that says goodbye. And then we gave it a name, but that's optional, but you can pass on these other parameters if you wanna do that. I usually give my routes names, but that's all there is to it. So you can do route view, give it the URL, give it the name of the um, file of the blade file. If this were like layered, you could go posts.create or something like that. And this would go into folders if you wanna do it that way as well. So that's it. So here you can see, we can actually get rid of this one too, because all this one is, is a view file. So let's just tell it to go to welcome instead of having a closure. And then we'll say this is a view. So we have route view and we just cleaned this up Look how much nicer that is. And I can see right away that this simply returns the welcome view. This simply returns the goodbye view. I can see that this redirects to the goodbye view. And then we've got a resource controller. It just cleans up our routes file. It looks great. And it's it's just so much easier. We don't have to worry about this page controller. It's just, it makes it, those two simple methods are gonna be really, really handy. So that's it for this video. That is video number 10 for you guys. The next video, part 11, we're gonna talk about some custom stuff that has come to Blade. We can easily create some custom Blade directives. I'll show you guys how all that works. See you guys in that video over there.